Alright, so welcome back to my channel. I am doing a mukbang of the Dippin' Tacos from Taco Bell and a, like, update on my life. So, first of all, screwed my Taco Bell in where I live because they ran out of the shredded beef for the tacos, so they had to give me chicken. Um, and I told them just to give me chicken because they didn't that or no Dippin' Tacos at all. But y'all, I'm so freaking excited. Oh, shit. I got sauces at the wazoo. So the first thing we're gonna do is just open it up and then I'm gonna talk. So, shit, what should I start with? Let's start with the actual taco. Ooh, it's in the fancy tin foil wrapper. Oh, hell yeah. It's definitely not gonna be as good because it's not um, the brisket. But let's see if I can get a good view for y'all. So you can see, like, there's all the cheese. Oh, shit. Y'all fell. I also lost my tripod for my car. That, like, stands y'all up so you're just leaning on my dashboard. And then there's all the sauce inside. I mean, it looks good regardless of the meat. So I have to move some stuff around, around the vicinity. And then you're supposed to dip it in nacho cheese sauce and red sauce. So, and then I also, I always get the creamy jalapeno sauce on the side as well. Um, that's a game changer. We'll get to my quesadilla in a minute. But yeah, let's pop these. Ooh, the nacho cheese is hot. Damn hot. So I got two different tacos, chicken. And then a quesadilla with um, an extra side of jalapeno sauce. And now I think they gave me a discount. Oh my god, y'all are falling again. I think they gave me a discount because they didn't have the right meat. Because it was originally $16 and they said it was $13. And then I got a small Baja Blast because you need one with Taco Bell. I'm also realizing that there's a lot of people who can see me vlog right now. I'm getting a little intimidated, but we're just going to ignore it. All right. So I'm going to try it without the sauces first. Ah. No, my taco's falling apart. Fuck. That's hot. Mmm. I mean, it's probably better. Mm-hmm. With, um, the brisket. It was kind of like a combination of a grilled or a chicken quesadilla. And, um, a hard taco. But now let's try it. I'm going to try it first with just the nacho cheese. Dunk. Mmm. Natural cheese to me doesn't usually add too much. The one from Taco Bell like, doesn't have as much flavor. Now let's try it with the red sauce. With I'm pretty sure it's just their hot sauce. Mmm. That's dang god delicious. And let's wash her down a little bit with some Baja Blast. Oh, that is fire. Now let's do the real taste test. Both sauces at the same time. So I'm going to do nacho cheese first. Dunk. Look at that. Ooh. And then into the red sauce. Mmm. Talk about knew what they were doing with that. That's so good. Alright, let's finish this up. Nacho cheese. Red sauce.
It definitely would be better with the brisket. And I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. The chicken slapping. Especially with a little Baja Blast to wash her down. Okay, so that's my first taco. Devoured, done, gone, zilch. Now let's go on to, I got a chicken quesadilla. Ooh, she is hot. And the best trick to this is that you get a side of jalapeno sauce that's on the inside of it to dip it in so it's not dry. Because sometimes they're a little skimpy and you don't get enough sauce in it. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh no, they put a lot of sauce in this one. They usually, at my Taco Bell, are a little dry. But this one, this one's, this one's what? Let's, where should I start? Mmm. Mmm. That's one of the best quesadillas I've had from there. All right, so let me give you like an update on my life. So summer's officially over now. I have some fun things that happened this summer. I mainly just worked, but we went to like a few concerts. I went to Wilmington and all those vlogs are up, but I went to um, Lee Bryce, Sam Hunt, and mm, Luke Combs this summer. So fun, Luke Combs is my favorite concert. Um, I didn't really get to vlog there. Um, cause I honestly just didn't really remember to vlog while I was there. Cause I was having so much fun with my friends. But. Mm, that's pretty much all I did this summer. Was go to concerts and work. So. In May I started a new job as a medical assistant. And so I work 8.30 to 5.00. Monday through Friday, and then over the summer, I worked as a waitress on Saturdays. So it was a pretty busy schedule. And then I also coach, my college team just picked up this week, or like last week, but then I had some, I also coach at a high school, and we had like random practices throughout the summer. So I had to do that after work some days. But overall, it was a pretty good summer, I made bank. Um, I got to hang out with Abby a lot, which is always fun. But now, this is my one week in between my summer courses and my fall, where I have no week, no school this week, so that's really nice. I'm going to start again next week. So now my official schedule is this. Work, 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. I have college practice Monday, Wednesday. I have school practice Tuesday with the game on Thursday. Friday is my day of relaxation, like that night. And then I have um, football for college on Saturdays. So I'm working like technically six days a week again, but it's a little bit more controlled and I have class Tuesday, Thursday. It's a little bit more controlled this year because I'm not going to the high school four days a week, I'm only going two days a week. So that helps so much. Hmm. I'm going to take a break from that quesadilla and go back to the taco, actually. But this, with this channel, I'm not going to lie, I got like a little lazy. I did started out really good vlogging. And then the more I worked and didn't do things, like the less I vlogged. Because like, y'all comment below, like, are you interested in my like daily routine type of vlogs because I'm not gonna lie I don't really do too much or if I do do something it's kind of sporadic and not planned but I'm probably gonna vlog this weekend um because I have the summer I turn pretty season finale my friends and I are doing like a little pizza wine night um to watch it so that'll be fun oh look how good this one looks this one's extra cheesy I can't even get the paper off No, this one's all cracked. Damn it, look at this. That's a bad looking taco. I'm so sad. 
like, do you see all the cracks in it? Talk about, I'm gonna complain. I expect high quality, five star service from my Taco Bell. I don't know what the hell this is. Dang, no, this is like really bad. I can't even eat this. I mean, I'm gonna eat it, trust me. But it's a little tricky to when it's falling apart. No. That just completely fell apart. Look at this. But pretty much, um, I'm gonna get like back on my grind on vlogging because I kind of missed like bringing. Uh, I'm gonna skip this. That was I can't eat that. I'm gonna dip my quesadilla in the two sauces instead. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just not a hard shell. But anyway. I want to get back on my vlogging grind, and this is like me keeping y'all updated, like what I'm doing. But like, do you watch my reels? Because so far, my reels are honestly doing better than my videos, and like, they're not my most favorite thing to film, just because I feel like I don't interact with y'all as much, like talk to you guys, and I'm kind of capped at like a minute most to make like anything creative. But if y'all like them, like comment below if you do. And like what videos you want because sometimes I get a little lost like especially when I'm not doing much that week I'm just working like how do I bring y'all along like are you interested in seeing like the day in the life of a medical assistant and the problem is is that everything is like HIPAA so I can't like show you the office or anything like that but I can kind of like explain to y'all what I do mm. that's still pretty good But, like, are you interested in that? Or, like, a 9, 5 to 9 before the 9 to 5? Like, that'd be something I'd be interested in. Or, like, what I do on my Mondays after work. Or self-care days. I do a lot of self-care. I'm not mad my dip and taco fell apart. Maybe I should try it one more time. Well, I get it. If you guys are like a actual watcher of these videos and you're like a little more dedicated to watching it, I know it's still like a new channel, so I'm not like the best vlogger out there yet. Like, what do y'all want to see? Because I'm pretty much going to do whatever y'all want. You guys hold my life in your hands. But I don't know. Give me some ideas. This vlog, nothing, I'm going down the hill. Everything's falling apart. And my phone keeps going off, which is kind of rude, I'm trying to make a video. But, yeah, this is my life. Oh, I didn't even put hand sanitizer on, damn it. I just came from cheer practice. And for college, we practice outside, in the, like, this summer. And, um... I was touching like nasty, dirty stuff. I can't eat that. I tried. I tried, y'all. It's literally just disgusting mess. But we practice outside and I like touch dirty stuff. Maybe it's not too late. But yeah. But this week is also fun because Abby's boyfriend Mike is in town. I just got, oh, it just got all over me. Oops. And, um, Mike, if you're watching this, I'm going to give you a shout out because I love when Mike's in town because I genuinely feel like we're one little family whenever he's back and we're all so happy and we have a nice beer on the porch at night. Like, I just feel like the three musketeers, uh, no one calls us that, but in my head, we're like three musketeers, but we're like back in action, ready to go. So yeah, okay, this quesadilla, I wish it was the real Dippin' Taco, but I'm like watching the drive-thru right now, and I'm pretty sure like everyone in line is ordering that Dippin' Taco, and those poor workers are probably losing their mind because I have to tell everyone that they're out. Mm. So good, not the same. 
But yeah. Also, I'm gonna be judgmental for a second, and I'll die on my on, I'll die on this hill. But if you think you're too good for Taco Bell or fast food in general, you need to check your priorities and your life because there is nothing better than sitting in your car. Well, maybe this is just me and Abby do this. But we, when we're hungover on Sundays, we'll decide on like a fast food place. Taco Bell usually wins or cookout. And we literally order the greasiest, nastiest food to cure our hangovers. And we just sit, we park, turn on some music, sit in the car and just eat. We don't even talk to each other. But we just sit on our phones or we like sit staring out the window and just like take in all of our bad decisions from the night before and we just eat it. Or it's like today is a Wednesday at, what time is it? 7.36 p.m. And I just want to talk about so I just got it. Like if I want to work it off the next day, I'll work it off. But I mean, if you think you're too good for fast food, you're not. You're not. That's just a life lesson I think that everyone should know is that no one's too good for fast food. And Taco Bell is supreme when it comes to fast foods and cookout. And if y'all are from the north watching this, or from a place that does not have cookout, bless your soul. Because listen now, I'm from New York, and we did not have Taco Bell growing up, or I didn't have Taco Bell growing up. Not Taco Bell, I'm losing my mind because I can't eat this quesadilla, it's really not that good. We didn't have cookout growing up. And so when I came down here, it was like a whole new world of fast food that I never experienced. And I'm telling you, cookout's probably my favorite fast food place other than Taco Bell. If we had to do like location wise, cause cookout's not everywhere, but Taco Bell is international. So my favorite international fast food is Taco Bell. My favorite like local geographical fast food for sure cookout so pretty much this was my mukbang i got really off topic i don't know what i talked about but um it was kind of uh i give this taco bell today like i'm not gonna lie maybe a six only because my taco fell apart and that just was not the vibe that i was looking for today but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed my little life update i definitely will try to vlog um the next few days a little bit better i did get some footage from the past weekend i'm not sure if i'm gonna put it in this next vlog oh jesus mary and joseph but yeah i thought that i'd just bring y'all along my little taco bell trip today and i'm not even gonna cut this maybe just add a little bit of a beginning intro edit but this is uncut me i hope you all enjoy and let's keep doing mukbangs together peace out vlog